Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sea Slurps and Mystery Mondays. Today we're gonna to be trying Tapatio Shrimp Flavor Ramen Noodle Soup. Shout out to Nude Runner on Reddit for uh, letting me know that there's this really cool shop in our neighborhood that sells all of these different kinds of noodles. And this one is made, I think in Mexico, obviously because it's a Tapatio hot sauce. I was super stoked about getting this because there's a lot of hype on it and I, I love hot sauce and I'm really excited to see this kind of Mexican fusion ramen on instant noodles. So without further ado, let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, we've got a big bowl of tapatio shrimp flavored ramen in a bowl. We're gonna open that up. You got the noodles in there. You got your seasoning packet. Boil some water. Add your seasoning packet. It does come with a plate inside. And add some boiling water just into the wine. Let that sit for three minutes. Cover and seal. And open it up. It's all done just like that. Give it a stir. Look at these noodles. Yum. You can already smell that tapatio hot sauce in there. Can't wait to give it a try. All right, so this is the finished product. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so probably not the best idea to be having hot noodle soup on a 37 degree day here in Vancouver, AKA like 100, 100 plus degrees Fahrenheit. It's super hot in here, but I do everything for you guys. So ramen noodle reviews, it is. With this one, you do get that hit of tapatio, that signature, nice spicy hit. It kind of hits you first, but it's actually quite on the mild side. Um, if you're really sensitive to spice, it'd probably be more on the medium side. And then after that, you get that shrimp flavor. But honestly, both flavors were not as pronounced as I wanted it to be. I thought it would be like full on tapatio or like a nice full on camarone or shrimp flavor. And it kind of just felt flat. It just felt like a cheaper kind of noodle, like ones that you would get in like Southeast Asia. It just tasted a little bit salty, <laughs> like MSG infused with a little bit of like a hint of shrimp and like a little bit of tapatio spice. So a little bit disappointed in that. Um, the flake packet, uh, it was all mixed in with the powder. So it's just the noodle bowl and the flake and seasoning powder. You've got a bit of dried cabbage there, a little bit of carrot, um, some red pepper, which is a little bit different. So I guess going in with a Mexican theme or like Tex-Mex kind of theme. That, um, a little bit of bok choy in there, which I didn't find to be like, it, it didn't really contribute to anything at all. So it was just all right. The noodles itself, again, with these, Kind of cheaper noodles you're not gonna get something that's super chewy they are a bit thinner they will cook and get soggy very quickly so it's best if you slurp that up right away i do like the ease and convenience of bowls they're not usually my favorite but again this way you could just pour over hot boiling water which is what i did or you could just pop it right into the microwave for three minutes and it's a really super easy and quick cooking time but with that being said, I don't know, it just felt a little bit flat for me. There was a lot of hype on this, um, maybe because there's a lot of Tapatio stands out there. I'm one of them, I love Tapatio. It just felt flat, it felt short in a lot of areas with noodles, with broth, with the flavor overall, which I think is really important. So with that being said, I'm just gonna give it a two and a half out of five. I don't think I'd buy this again. Kind of annoyed <laughs> that I went out and got this but I'm really happy that I tried it. I do love how unique the flavor is. It's just, I wanted more of it. If you like this video, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe in the link down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell just in the top right-hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. We'll see everyone next week. Bye.